Step 2. Placing Views on Layouts Click the Project Chooser button in the top left corner of the navigator and select Show Organizer. The Organizer palette appears. Set it to show the view map on its left and the layout book on its right. In the Organizer, double-click the A1 first floor plan layout to activate it. Zoom out and see the whole empty layout. Select the A1 first floor plan preset view located in the Views to Publish folder in the View Map on the left side of the Organizer. Then drag and drop it into the A1 first floor plan layout on the right side of the Organizer. When you release the mouse button, the drawing generated from the view is placed and created on the layout. The drawing will be displayed according to the settings of the view upon which it is based. Activate the next A2 Roof Plan layout and drag and drop the A2 Roof Plan preset view onto it. Now activate the A3 Sections layout. This time, select all four section views. You can do this by Control or Command clicking. Drag and drop them all in one go onto Layout A3 Sections. They will be placed and arranged on the layout according to the Auto Arrange Setup rules previously defined for the Master Layout D landscape used by this layout. Using the same method, place elevations A7 Northwest Elevation to A9 Northeast Elevation onto the A4 Elevations layout using the drag and drop method described in the previous step. Now place 3D Views A10 Southeast View and A11 Southwest view onto the A5 3D view layout. Drag and drop the A12 Interior Elevations group of Interior Elevations onto the A6 Interior Elevations layout. Drag and drop the A13 3D section document onto the A7 3D section layout. Drag and drop the A14 window list and the A15 door list onto the A8 schedules layout. Activate the A3 sections layout. Zoom in on the right side of the upper two sections. Two elevation dimensions do not line up in the two sections. Let's remedy this. Select the lower of the two sections Right-click and from the context menu, select the Open Source View with Layout as Reference command. The Source section of the drawing opens and you can see the layout as a reference. Select the Elevation Dimension and choose the Edit, Move, Drag menu command. Hold down the Shift key to temporarily lock the horizontal direction of the drag and click the other dimension in the Trace reference. Dimensions are now aligned. Double click on the previously used A3 layout sheet in the Navigator layout book to reopen it. The dimensions are now aligned. 